I have a very strange life, over the years I have come into contact with some of the strangest people. Don't get me wrong this is what I do, and they're good people. Thursdays are normally a slow day, in the mornings I kick back and read the papers they tend to stack up over the week. But today was a day, a day that made you wonder where a person could be. I know this sounds strange at first but please let me explain. On my desk this morning was a note and a cell phone with about three pictures, I guessed they were taken with the cell phone and whomever had the night watchman deposit the cell phone must have printed out the pictures. The pictures as seen in the video is a place unknown to me that is far in the woods. The note only said listen to the audio file on the cell phone, the unlock pin is 1408. The cell phone had no numbers only the three pictures of this place in the woods. And this audio file which I will do my best to explain what I hear. Our lawyers are looking into if I can post it here or not. A man who claims to be in his 30s begins to spin a very odd story. In the beginning he claims that he was walking home from visiting a friend in Calma, San Francisco, California. For the ones that don't know in the first few decades of the 20th century, San Francisco had a corpse problem. Specifically, that their previously living residents were taking up valuable real estate in the ground. So San Francisco came up with an innovative solution, they evicted their dead and sent them to a small community 10 miles to the south. That town is Calma. For 75 years, Calma has been steadily collecting bodies, and it's getting deader all the time. As of 2009, there were 1,500 living residents and 1.5 million marked graves that take up so much space that the buildings in Calma are flanked by tombstones. 73% of the land belongs to dead folks and future dead folks, and the rest is occupied by people who have a great sense of humor. The town's motto is it's great to be alive in Calma. Once you get past the initial shock of tripping over multiple gravestones in a town that sounds suspiciously like Coma, you might notice that the town also has a few living residents who have put their roots down among the dead. Which means you're walking among a population who grew up playing hide-and-seek in cemeteries and spend several hours a year waiting on funeral processions. Anyway I thought I would add that to the story because this adds another level of strange to the pot. And it may help us find out who this guy is. The guy said that a black van with the letters in white final demand on the side pulled up beside him and four large guys jump out, and placed a black sack over his head and gave him a toss in the van. The man claimed that he did not put up much of a fight as he thought this may be someone playing a joke on him. He then said that there was a needle prick in the back of his neck he passed out and woke up in a clearing in the woods but on all sides was vines and there was no way in or out of this box in the woods. He went on to say that it was getting cold, because of this he had no idea where he was at. On the tape there was strange sounds, streams, and about 30 minutes of voices and other things I can't make out. I have sent the cell phone and pictures to someone that may be able to pull the voices out of the recording. The last thing I could make out was where am I where am I? I posted this in hopes if I can find out if this is a hoax, which from the recording I do think it's real. Or if anyone knows or has an idea where the pictures may have been taken. Stay paranoid my friends.